Today I'm going to be showing you how to easily and safely boost the graphics on any game that you play with the Oculus Rift CV1. We'll be increasing the resolution by up to 100%, so double, by using a simple tool that's free to download directly from the Oculus website. This will give you an insanely noticeable boost in the visual quality of any game that you are playing with the Oculus Rift CV1, which will allow you to read text easier, see things further in the distance, and generally experience higher quality graphics that the game developers intended you to see without the limitation of the Rift hardware itself. This really is the easiest thing you'll ever do to improve the graphic fidelity inside the Rift. And for most of the games I've tried with this trick, they really did feel like what I dream VR resolution to be straight out of the gate. Stunning. So stay locked, enjoy, crush the like button, and yeah, I hope it helps. What is currently happening YouTube? Facepalm here, your friend in Oz and NZ, bringing you reviews, tutorials, and game clips, minus the sh** you can follow me on Twitter at facepalm with a one not an L as for here on YouTube if you like what you find then like comment and subscribe don't forget to bring your game face let's get it done so the way this works is through the Oculus Rift debug tool. Basically, when developers are developing software, they use, as the title suggests, a software development kit. This software development kit, or SDK for short, ships with a small debugging tool that allows them to, among other things, boost the graphics of the games that they are creating. So they can see if there are any performance issues or glitches that they need to troubleshoot before their game is released to the masses. And this is what we are going to use to boost the resolution of our graphics on any game that we're playing, which will obviously increase the quality of said graphics. Bear in mind here that in order to do this, and excuse me if this sounds obvious, is you're going to need an Oculus Rift headset and the Oculus Home software that the Rift headset runs through. So with those two requirements met, the first thing you're going to want to do is go to Google and search for Oculus SDK for Windows. And the top search result should be this one here, which leads to the Developer Center download section on the Oculus website. Click on that and then scroll down to the SDK and Runtime section and where it says Oculus SDK for Windows, go over to the right and click this Details button. This will land you on the download page for the SDK. Tick this Terms and Conditions box and hit the download button. You can also have a browse on this page if you want some extra info, but unless you're developing software for the Rift, we can just go ahead and skip this part for now. Once the software is downloaded, right click the file and extract it to your desktop. A folder called Oculus SDK will then appear, and inside this folder, you're going to find a folder labeled Tools. Go into that folder and you will find the Oculus Debug tool.exe, which is the tool I mentioned earlier that is going to let us increase our Rift's resolution. Now, before you go any further, make sure that you have no games or software running in the background through the Rift, because if you do, you're going to get some really bad jittery gameplay, which is definitely going to give you either A, a disappointing experience, or B, a very sickening experience. And for those of you that have experienced sim sickness before, you know what I'm talking about. So with all the Oculus software closed down and your Rift plugged into your PC, Open up the Oculus Home software again first, and when I say first, I mean 100% before anything else Oculus related. Once that is opened up, you can now open the Oculus debug tool we downloaded before. Make sure to launch this debug tool before launching any games. Once this tool opens, the section we're going to be looking at is here where it says pixels per display pixel override. The way this works is the number here represents a percentage. Obviously the number here should be 1, which represents 100%, as that is the quality the developers of the games you're about to play would have intended it. But because they generally play it a little on the safe side, and because they can't know specifically what graphics card or CPU you have, you can increase this by up to 200% by using the number 2 here. This is going to do two things. One, it's going to double the resolution of the game you are playing, and two, it's going to eat your graphics card for lunch. So I would not recommend setting this to two on anything like Project Cars or Elite Dangerous, even with a GDX 1080 overclock card. 
This is because we're at a point where with VR, the software is far more demanding that our, than our current generation of graphics cards can handle on this kind of double resolution setting. So what can you do if you have a GDX 970, 980, Ti or GDX 1070 card? Well, you can experiment with a lower setting. So if a value of 1 is 100% resolution and 2 is 200% resolution, then a value of 1.5 is 150% resolution resolution, which would increase your graphic resolution by 50%. And similarly, if you set a value of 1.2, this would give you a 20% increase in resolution. And you can actually use any decimal value between 1 and 2 to improve the graphics of any game you are playing in the Rift. Once you have the resolution you want, then launch your game of choice from the Oculus Home software and prepare for the anticipation of finding out whether or not your graphics card has the testicular fortitude to play Project cars at 200% resolution. Probably not, but a 40% increase might work and it's definitely worth trying. Just make sure that you keep your frame rate above 90 FPS while gaming, otherwise the graphical improvement of your VR experience is going to be far outweighed by the sickness you'll get from a low frame rate and high latency. Try a few different settings and find out what works best for you, and when you have some sweet settings, post them up in the comments below and let others know so they can try them out on their hardware. So now you know how to boost the resolution of any game inside the Rift using a simple debug tool. Text should be clearer, graphics cleaner, and things you couldn't previously see in the distance should now be a little more visible. So I hope this has helped. And please don't forget to crush the like button, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace. Thanks for watching today's video. Just remember you can follow me on Twitter at BasePalm with a one, not an L. As for here on YouTube, if you like what you find, then like, comment, and subscribe. But don't forget to bring your game face. Face Palm out.